anticipation for these 10 days to come. And it's amazing that despite the fact that it cuts us and it makes us cry, but there's an anticipation there. There's a feeling there. You're waiting for this moment to come so that you can pour your heart out. You can reconnect again. On the one hand, you feel grief, but at the same time, you feel happiness as well. The question is asked, why is this? Why is it that on the one hand, you're feeling grief, but again, you're feeling happiness? Go and see today. Look across the world. Mothers are preparing their children tonight. As you come home from school, you find that mothers say to their kids, from now on, the next 10, ten days are gonna be crucial. Black clothes are worn. The entire atmosphere of your house changes. Mosques are flooded. People begin to move. There's a movement now. You don't care anymore, day or night time. For the next 10 days, everything inside of you is pointing to one reality. And that's the reality of Sayyidu Shahad Ali As the time of the Dhuhr goes closer, and as we're moving closer to that Imam Alayhi Salam, this message holds true. And this is the only message that will make us survive these trials and tribulations which this nation is going through. Look and see for yourself. See how quickly time is accelerating. See how quickly pain and suffering is coming into our lives. One of the greatest secrets of these 10 nights isn't the fact that you come and shed tears only for Sayyidul Shuhada, because the Imam doesn't require our tears. The actual sir of the secret of these nights is that we use these nights to change our destiny. It is within these nights that you change your destiny. All of that pain that you've brought here, every one of us has some pain within our heart. It's that pain that drives us. Each one of us are suffering because we're human beings. Allah gives us one opportunity, time and time again, and that opportunity is the wasil of these 10 nights, that you can come here and that you can cry. Go back to the tradition of the fourth Imam alayhi salam and see. Beautiful as he says. He says, look, even if all of the problems of the world befall you, and you feel like crying, and those tears come into your eyes. And you know some problems that we have, either as family problems, or financial, or health, whatever it may be. Just make the intention that when you cry, you cry for my father, and he's accepted in this way. Every movement, every tear, every pain that you feel, make that intention, and you see that your heart feels lighter again. That's what this night is about. This night is that night of preparation. This night is that night that we prepare ourselves, that we can make that difference in the next 10 nights. Leading on to the day of Ashura. All of your problems, everything lies here. Solution for everything lies here. And that's why each one of us needs to get on the ark, the ark of Sayyidah Shahada And so tonight starts off that process. Tonight we make a covenant. If you're here tonight, it's because you were invited. Not everyone comes to these centers. Not everyone comes to these majalis. If you're here, it's because you're the du'a of Zahra. That's why you're here. Look at yourself and see. Don't look at your status as something small. Look at your status and see that it's because of that mother who prayed for this nation. That's why you're here today. And that's what makes the difference. For those people who realize their status, you find that not only in this world, but in the hereafter, you were one beneficial for you. These are those nights. That's Sayyid al-Shahada that all of humanity remembers. And look and see, has there been such a sacrifice like this? You know, I remember a number of years ago in the BBC, there was an entire documentary done that across the world who commemorates Sayyid al-Shahada. You find that fire within us is greater, but all religions somewhere or somehow commemorate Sayyid al-Shahada. For you, there's a connection because the Imam alayhi salam, the 12th Imam says, he says, our Shia are those people who feel our pain when we're in pain. And we feel their pain when they're in pain. Don't ever think that you're alone. Don't ever think that you don't have anyone to support you. Every time you pain, your Imam pains as well. But it's that realization that needs to be there. And for every time the Imam pains, you pain. This is why you feel that harara, that fire within your heart. That the Imam alayhi salam has said, that the death of Sayyidul Shuhada will be like a fire in the hearts of the believers. They'll never die away. That's why you're here for today. That's what pushes you, that fire within your heart. But it's not just us that commemorate Sayyidul Shuhada. Go across the world and see. And that's what the BBC was saying in this documentary. They said, look, even if you go to Lebanon today, you find that there are Christians who commemorate Sayyidul Shuhada. Ask why, and they'll tell you that this Imam represents humanity. 
for everything that's within humanity is found within us, in this Imam. Why did the Imam go out and do what he did? You know and I know that the Imam was destined for heaven anyway. But the reason why he went there and the reason why he gave his life was for one thing, to prove to humanity that there's still humanity left. If Imam Hussein didn't stand up and rise, it would have meant that there was no humanity within society left. It takes a man like him to stand up and to sacrifice his life to show that within our fitra, the biggest thing which is there is love and sincerity. And that's what you see that man, that on the day of Ashura when he stands there, there is love and sincerity drenched and flowing within him. That when he raises his hands to Allah on the day of Ashura, everyone is gone and there's no one remaining. But he looks up towards his creator and he says, Allah, do you accept me now? Are you satisfied with me now after having lost everything with all the burden in his heart? And then he says, Allah, take until you are satisfied. That is a man of sincerity and that's a man of love. Do you know what eyes you had? No. Do you know what time he would sit down with his family? No. What is it that we know about him then? In the terms of physical features, we don't know anything about him other than what's written in the books. So what is it that attracts you towards him? Why is it that it burns your heart when it comes to his tragedy? That in itself is a miracle. Regardless of anything, 1400 years later, if he's commemorated from these pulpits and if millions of millions of people come to commemorate Sayyidu Shuhada, that means that it's a miracle. Because within our humanity and our fitra is dictated that we forget this type of pain. 1400 years later, if millions of people are coming, that means Hussein won and Yazid lost. See, that means that there is a system in place. That's the living miracle. That's the miracle of Sayyidu Shuhada. We don't know how he looked like, but we know his principles. Why is he timeless today? Why do tears come into your eyes when we mention his name? Timeless, because of Allah. One thing Imam had that none of us have in the same way as the Imam, and that was sincerity. The more sincere you are, the more timeless you become. You see, sincerity isn't something physical. 